Good evening, Mauricio. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you ready for action? Uh, I'm ready. Excellent. I think it's you are the only one <laughs> present right now. Well, Nadilcia and Sandra Patrice. Okay. Welcome on board. Let's begin. Let's begin. Buenas noches. Este es el Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, modalidad online, Beginner 3. Welcome to your English class. Today is Friday, September the 23rd. This is class 13, writing an email, writing an email. So in this class, we're going to learn how to write an email. This is the general objective. This is the specific objective. Students will be able to write short and professional email messages to coworkers. Class objective, specific objective. Students will be able to prepare, write, and articulate short professional emails for business purposes. In the agenda tonight, we have communication, email messages, tips, writing an email, and presenting your products. Okay, so. In the warm up, we'll be talking about communication. Okay. So let's begin from the beginning. Let's go to attendance. Abigail Mejia, Ana Maria Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Andrea Maria Cruz. Dilcia Jamile Fernandez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Emma Gloria Martinez. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gabriela Beatriz Ventura. Present. Okay. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. José Ezequiel Guzmán. Juan José Herrera. Gracias. Present. Excellent. Nice. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Lady Xiomara Chicas. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Maritza Yanira Hernandez. Okay. Paola Stephanie Mejia. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Raquel Abigail Garcia. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. Present. Excellent. Sandra Patricia Ramos. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. Stephanie Michelle. No, okay. Guadalupe del Carmen Silva. No, right, she doesn't exist. Okay. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. And Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. No, he didn't come. Okay. 
Well, let's begin. Okay. Um, <clears throat> warm up, communication. The purpose is to discuss communication. Okay, these are some questions that we're going to be discussing in the in the WhatsApp uh, group, no, in the WhatsApp group, in the in the Zoom Zoom uh, rooms. Okay, so I am a little a little. How can I say? I'm a little lost <laughs> because I am sick. I have been. I went to the for a checkup, and I'm a little lost. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're going to be discussing defined communication. You have to think about what communication is. And number two, why is communication important in life? So it's in general. And number three, what attitudes can make communication impossible? Attitudes. Attitudes. The attitudes are like you say in Spanish, attitudes, right? Attitudes. What attitudes can make communication impossible? And four, how can we communicate better? How can we communicate better? What tips, what tips can we have to communicate better? And five, are you a good communicator? Are you a good communicator? Communicator. Communicator. Are you a good communicator? Okay, so let's go to the groups. We're not many. Okay, but let's let's see how many we are. First the permissions. The permissions uh, participants we are 15, means in reality we are only 14. Okay. Because I don't count. <laughs> okay. Then, my friends, let's see, maybe three groups, four groups. Three groups would be much better. Okay. Three groups. The groups are opening, so please. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, Rebecca. Okay. Um, the first question, define communication. What do you think? is um, conversation on a topic. Yes, when we talk about something with the other people.
in the demand. Emma, Delphia. Um, communication is when eh, asmitir, no sé qué, ¿cómo se dice? Convey. Is convey a message to another person. Okay. Pasamos a la siguiente. ¿O alguien más que quiera participar? Why, why is communication important? in life. Um, because helps to understand which other person mm -hmm. And my class are uh, because we know about our um, environment. I think because is the way we have to communicate what we feel, think, socialize. 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 Three. What are it two? Can make communication impossible. Eh, Atenti. Eh, communicate better. Talk. Perdón. Listen, listen to others. Yeah. ¿Cómo puede, cómo podemos nosotros comunicarnos mejor? I think uh, I thought clear. Por ejemplo, a tiempo entró el teacher. <laughs> Hola, teacher. Eh, estamos en la pregunta número tres. No sé si nos puede ayudar, por favor. Eh, expresen sus opiniones y después vamos a agregar algo más. Ok. O, o es que no entienden la pregunta, porque si no entienden la pregunta, se los explico. No, sí, la pregunta sí la entendemos. Lo que pasa es de que nos resulta difícil como formular una respuesta en inglés. Ah, ok. Puede, pueden decir, puede ser. Pueden decirme qué quieren decir y yo les... Les digo, ¿verdad? No hay problema. La idea es que venga de ustedes. O sea, okay. yo, no es tema de decir, es que, que hagan el teacher, no nos quiere ayudar. No, no, no es eso. No quiero darles las respuestas. O sea, quiero que ustedes piensen las respuestas, pero si no pueden formularla en inglés, ustedes me la dicen y yo se la formulo en inglés. Sí, no hay problema. Pero como por ejemplo, como cuando una persona es aislada una aislada persona y que, cohibida y que no, no le gusta conversar 
Soman is Shai. 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 Soman is Shai. S H Y. Shai. 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 When, when someone is shy. Okay, excellent. Another or when, when somebody is uh, lo contrario de polite. When somebody is rude. Rude. Somebody is rude. Okay. Rude. Okay. Somebody is rude. Mm -hmm. When people shout, grita, when speak with others, and, and when people um, use offense words. Uh, when use foul language, when people use foul language, when people language. Okay. Other people. Uh -huh. And when people is negative, when express her feelings. Okay. They're feeling. Okay. When, when, when the people are very conflicted too. Conflicted. People are conflicted. Yes. Uh, yes. They like when, <laughs> when someone don't stop to talk. Exactly. When someone doesn't lend you the guitar, right? Yeah. <laughs> that someone doesn't lend you the guitar. Talks and talks and talks and talks. Yeah. Okay, the number four. How can we communicate better, eh, Juan Jose? Okay. Using polite language. Um, let someone... Can my guest... Mm. With my friends and my family. So if I, with my colleague. <laughs> In my case, is a good communicator. Mm -hmm. I'm a good communicator. In, okay. About me, I am a good communicator. Uh -huh. About me, I am a good communicator. Hey, yeah, you finished, right? Yes. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, excellent. In a moment, we're going to go out. There are three people outside, one, that I sent her invitation twice, but she doesn't join. Uh, so she continues out. And there are two that arrived uh, like 20 seconds ago. So we're going out, better not in the next round. <clears throat> okay. Now that you finished, Let's go back to the main group. Hey, thank you, Patra. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, number two. Dice, uh, ¿cuál es como, por qué es importante la comunicación para los talentos? En la vida. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's important for social por la sociedad por la mm -hmm. relación entre las personas ay no sé cómo se dice eso. En, por... ¿Sí? ¿Cómo perdón? No, 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 dígame. Relationship in the person. Relationship. Por relationship. Hi. Hola. ¿Aún está ahí? Ay, ya regresamos.
okay, only two people are missing to are missing out of the groups still. Okay. I was asked, me pidieron que les recordara que están en fechas de reinscripción. Eh, que ustedes conocen el propósito, el, el proceso y que la última fecha para la inscripción es el 4 de octubre y que la fecha tentativa de inicio es el 10 de octubre. Entonces, eh, que debemos trabajar para lograr el 80% por ahí por la, o sea, ya antes de salir ¿verdad? para poder reinscribir, pero que iniciemos el proceso. Eh, no sé cuál sea el, el inicio del proceso, pero ustedes creo que lo conocen mejor que yo. Debe ser probablemente solicitar los documentos en, en su departamento de recursos humanos, eh, realizar el trámite y empezar con el proceso, ¿verdad? En realidad yo no, me, no, no conozco el proceso, para serles honesto, no. Yo nunca me he inscrito así, me han inscrito, so, así que los, los cursos en los que yo he participado me han inscrito, no, no, no me he inscrito yo. Entonces, sí, pero, ¿ustedes conocen cuál es el proceso? A veces lo describen, eh, eh, lo mandan un WhatsApp y describen qué es lo que necesitamos. Uno solo tiene que decirle a la secretaria para que mande los documentos. Pero eso sería para el próximo curso, ¿va? Correcto. Ok, ok. Próximo curso. Entonces, eh, nos pidieron, eh, nos pidieron que les recordáramos que están en el proceso de, para tener los documentos listos y para que puedan reinscribirse y no esperar mucho tiempo Ajá. para seguir el siguiente paso. Okay. Porque si no, si no se hace el proceso a tiempo, quedan allí un rato y después de un mes empiezan el... Sí, es cierto. Entonces, hacerlo pronto, ¿verdad? Me pidieron que hiciera esto todos los días, no sé por cuánto tiempo, pero me dijeron que lo hiciera todos los días. Entonces, eh, hay que ser obedientes, ¿verdad? Hay que ser obedientes. Entonces, yo les recuerdo, con todo respeto, con todo cariño, que por favor realicen su proceso de inscripción. Eh, si ustedes no lo conocen bien el proceso, voy a pedirles en la oficina que manden un, oh. manden el proceso, ¿verdad? Para que sí. comuniquen bien cómo es o que me lo manden a mí para yo reenviarlo. Entonces, pero para que ustedes lo tengan claro y puedan iniciar ese proceso. ¿sí? Pero quedan... <ríe> Quedan informados, ¿verdad? Quedan informados. Okay. okay, coming back to our topic. We say define communication. Communication, simple. I talk, you listen. You talk, I listen. If we talk, okay. One attitude that can make communication impossible is Two people talking at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't listen. We don't listen to the arguments the other person presents before the other person finishes. We begin speaking. There is no communication. So the idea is, we listen to the person when the person finishes the arguments, then. We begin speaking. Okay. And another thing is when people talk in different languages. And I'm not talking about one speaks English and the other speaks Spanish. No. One person is speaking egocentrically, only about himself or herself, what he or she wants, and doesn't understand how the other person is feeling then there is no communication, right? Okay. Uh, com why is communication important in life? 
what do we what is the function of communication what's the purpose of communication i transmit information that you need and you transmit information that i need okay and we understand one another and there is a mutual participation in the activities and consensus in the things that we do because people are well informed. But, okay, say like this, an example. I organize a party. I organize a party and I make a list. Aha, uh -huh. Rebecca is going to bring the cake. Mauricio is going to bring the drinks. Okay, Juan Jose is going to bring the sandwiches. Esmeralda is going to bring the balloons and ribbons to make the decoration, okay? And of course, Ezequiel is going to help us send in the invitations. And uh, we're going to have Maritza uh, helping uh, Juan Jose with the sandwiches too. Jorge is going to bring the music and it's going to make the party nice for everybody. Okay, I have all the plan and I put it in a piece of paper, but I never tell the people. I don't tell the people. Okay, the, the moment of the party comes and I come and I say, okay, let's the party. Who brought the cake? And you say, eh, you didn't tell me. Oh, come on, I, I wrote it in a piece of paper. We didn't have access to the piece of paper. The piece of paper was yours. Oh, yes. And uh, the music and the sandwiches and the balloons, okay? I didn't inform. Is there a party? No, there is no party because there was no communication. There was no communication. Communication is important at all levels. If my boss wants something from me, but my boss doesn't tell me, I cannot guess. I'm not a Sarkov mind reader, right? No puedo leer la mente, so I cannot know, right? So that's why communication is important in life. What attitudes can make communication impossible? Juan Jose was saying that someone is shy. I'm going to write here shy. Shy. Or somebody said that the other person was pessimistic. Only the person used the word negative. Ah, negative would be probably pessimistic. Okay. The person is pessimistic or the person is aggressive. If the person is aggressive, it's impossible to have communication, right? The person is aggressive or the person is pessimistic or the person is. But the worst thing is when the people don't listen. When the people don't listen. Okay, you are talking to someone and someone is on the cell phone. And you say, hey, I'm talking to you. And you say, ah, okay. What did I just say? And they don't know what you said. They didn't hear. They don't listen to you. So there is no communication. That attitude makes it impossible for communication to happen, right? So those are some things. How can we communicate better? Listening better. When someone is speaking, let's be quiet. 
when someone is quiet, okay, begin speaking. If someone asks a question, let's answer the question. If someone makes a comment, respond to the comment, right? And try not to be aggressive, okay? Sometimes we, our humanity, not our, our humanity in the good sense, but our nature tells us, hey, he's attacking you, defend yourself. And all the warfare is ready okay, to attack. No, no, we have to be patient and listen. It's difficult. Yes, it's difficult. It happens to me. It happens to everybody. We are humans. Okay. So, are you a good communicator? I am learning. But I am in wrappers. Estoy en papel, en pañales. <laughs> I am learning to communicate. Okay. But one day, I will learn. Okay, listen, check this out. Check this conversation out. Practice this conversation with a partner. Eh, cualquier parecido con la realidad es pura coincidencia. No, any similarity to reality is mere coincidence. Okay. <laughs> Says, Maximo, we need to talk about us. Can't it wait? I'm watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. I know. You love it more than you love me, right? Come on. Don't say that, honey. I never say that you love shopping or your soap operas more than you love me. Do I? True. But they never come between you and me. Ellos nunca vienen entre usted y yo. Nunca se ponen, en, se meten entre usted y yo. O entre vos y yo. That's true. But can we talk later? Whatever. Whatever. Lo que sea. Whatever. Okay. So, Máximo. Máximo Meridio. Decimo quinto. No. Okay. We need to talk about us. Can't it wait? I'm watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. I know. You love it more than you love me, right? Come on, don't say that, honey. I never say that you love shopping or your soap operas more than you love me. Do I? True, but they never come between you and me. That's true, but can we talk later? Whatever, right? Questions? La última palabra, podría repetirla, teacher, please? Whatever, whatever. Le voy a poner la pronunciación aquí. Whatever. Cuando la, us, cuando la usan con el, la entonación. No, it's not whatever, it's whatever. What, whatever. Este, el centro aquí. Whatever. 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 Como querrás, pues, sea lo que sea. Whatever. Whatever. Ok. Okay, any other any other word? No. For the moment, no. Okay, excellent. Between, between, true. Can't it wait? Sorry for the Scottish accent, but it's the only one that I know. Okay, we need to talk about us. I'm watching the soccer. Can't it wait? I'm watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. I know. You love it more than you love me, right? Come on. Don't say that, honey. 
I never say that you love shopping and your soap operas more than you love me. Do I? True, but they never come between you and me. That's true, but can we talk later? Whatever. 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 Watching the champions. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Jonathan. What is the mean when when you say don't say don't say that, honey. Don't say that, honey. No, yes, no. eso, querida. Honey es querido. O querido, dependiendo. ¿verdad? Honey, I'm honey, pero normalmente honey es querida. Normalmente, honey. Honey, I'm home. Pero también me parece como, como miel. No. Sí, miel. Acuérdense que son palabras dulces. <risa> Chef. <risa> yes. Sub operas es las dos palabras unidas, porque lo encontré en sub operas como novelas. Soap operas, sí, soap operas. O sea, esas dos palabras van unidas, entonces. Eh, es una sola cosa, pero son dos palabras separadas. Esta es una palabra que se llama compound word, palabras compuestas. Entonces, es como, el, hay, sí hay unas que van unidas, por ejemplo, y hay otras que, puede, que pueden ir de las dos formas. Airport se usa una, una sola palabra, unida. Ice cream es, 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 va separado, ¿verdad? Entonces, también soap operas va separado. So, son las dos palabras. Soap operas. Y el, el origen es que opera, ustedes han visto, no, quizás nunca han visto una ópera. Es una historia romántica emotiva que se presenta en el teatro y que hay una gordita cantando ópera, ¿verdad? Y canta del amor y de que se le rompió el corazón y bueno. Entonces, eh, y hay una historia trágica en ella. Entonces, esa es una ópera. Y como empezaron a, a pasar programas cortos en la televisión y eran patrocinados por un jabón, entonces le pusieron soap operas, ¿verdad? Porque el jabón era el que patro, patrocinaba el espacio de esa operette. ¿verdad? de esa ópera. Entonces, por eso es que se llama soap opera, o sea, una ópera patrocinada por el jabón, que, que aquí sonaría raro para una palabra compuesta verdadera, ¿verdad? pero sería eso para poner un poquito de contexto. Ok, you're welcome. Eh, ¿Alguien más? Somebody else has any other question? All right, then let's go to let's go to practice. Later, later, later. We say later twice. Can't it wait? Can we talk later? Okay. Let's see how many people we are now. We are 22 including me, so 21, somos 21, okay? Hagamos cinco grupos de cuatro. Y en la medida de lo, pos de lo posible, no quiero molestar a nadie, pero siempre insisto que es necesario participar en los grupos, ¿verdad? Yo entiendo que algunos tienen dificultades, entonces solo obvio la la reflexión, pero es necesario que practiquen porque la práctica hace al maestro, ¿verdad? la práctica hace al maestro. Entonces yo con todo cariño, porque quiero que aprendan, por eso les digo, practiquen. Pero si su objetivo no es hablar el idioma, solo es entenderlo y leerlo, está bien, pero ese es otro objetivo y es válido también. Entonces solo óigame y no hagan caso. ¿Ok? Porque... No es esa la idea. La idea es eh, que usted aprenda. 
¿verdad? Yo creo que es la idea de todos los maestros, facilitarle que usted aprenda. Ok. Since we're going to recreate, we're going to make five groups. Okay. The groups are opening. Please join. Tengo la cámara. Esa voz. ¿Quién comienza? Vaya. Yo si querés con vos. Máximo, we need to talk about this. Can it away? I am watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. I know you love it more than you love me, right? <laughs> Come on. Don't say that, honey. I never say that. You love sh shopping or you shop opera more than you love me to I. True, but they never come between you and me. That's true, but can we talk later? later? Whatever. But it can be on. Uh, Maximo, we need to talk about us. Can you wait? I'm watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is. Watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. I know you love it more than that you love me, right? Come on, don't say that, honey. I never say that you love shopping or your soap operas more than you love me. More than you love me, do I? Ay, perdón, lo dije y lo tenía apagado. Eh, true, but they never come between you and me. That's true, but can we talk later? Whatever. Eh, ahora eh, lo invertimos. Ahora me tocaría a mí con Rebeca invertirlo y luego ustedes lo invierten. Ah, ok, está bien. Va, comienzo. Maximo, we need to talk about us. Can it wait? I watch in the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. I know. You love it more than you love me, right? Come on, don't say that, honey. I never say that you love shopping or your soap operas more than you love me, do I? True, but they never come between you and me. That's true, but can we talk later? Wherever. Ahora Ana y Emma invierten los roles. Okay. Okay, yo comienzo entonces. Uh -huh. Máxima, we need to talk about us. 
skin is white. I am watching this soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love you the game. I know. Can't is white. I am watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. Game. I know. You love it more than you love me, right? Come, come on. Don't say that, honey. I never say that. You love shopping or your soap, op, soap operas. More does you love me do e. True, but they never come between you and me. That's true, but can we tell later? Talk. Whatever. Talk later. Talk. Can we, talk. can we talk later? Can we talk later? Later. Can we talk? Later. Can we talk later? Can we talk? Later. Ok. Paola, si gusta, lo volvemos a repetir nosotras. Ok. Empiezo o empieza. Si gusta, comience. Máximo. Máximo. That's true, but can we talk later? Whatever. Y te das la vuelta, sí, le haces con el pelo. Con el pelo. Ok. Ok. Hey, vamos. Okay. Jorge, ok, ahora. Me aprovechan porque no hay chica, ¿verdad? <risa> Exacto. <risa> Estuvieron a punto de soltarse, pero yo les dije, be careful. <risa> Está grabando todo esto. Ok. ¿Quién comienza hoy? Eh, en el anterior comenzaste tú. Ajá. Ah, comienza usted. Comienza yo, ok. Máximo, we need to talk about us. Can it wait? I'm watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. I know. You love it more than you love me, right? Come on, don't say that, honey. I never say that. You love shopping or you soap operas more than you love me. Do I? True, but they never come between you and me. That's true, but can we talk letters? Whatever. Okay. Yes, <laughs> happy. <laughs> okay. Y pones el plato así para que no te caiga. <laughs> Don't say that honey. I never I never say that you love shopping or your swap. Operas more than you love me, do I? True, but they never come between you and me. That's true. But can we tell it later? Whatever. Okay, Jonathan, with me. Uh, Maximo, we need to talk about us. Can it wait? I watching the soccer game. Is that important? It is to me. I love the game. I know. You love it more than you love me, right? Come on. Don't say that, honey. I never say that you love shopping or your soap opera more than you love me, do I? 
True, but they never come between you and me. That's true, but can we talk later? Whatever. Thank. Hacemos otra ronda. Okay, true or false? Monica needs to talk. True. Yeah, that's true. True. Okay. So Monica needs to talk is true. Maximo doesn't want to talk. True. 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 He's busy watching the soccer game. No, the soccer. Yeah. True. It's true. It's really busy. It's really busy. <laughs> yeah. Soccer game is important. Okay. So Monica should look for better times to talk. What do you think? True. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Imagine that a Maximo goes when she's watching her favorite soap opera, Plomo en la Sangre. And then <laughs> uh, he says, Monica, we need to talk. He says, hey, hey, sh sh quiet. My favorite actor is speaking. Okay. Right? So women communicate better. True or false? True. Believe it or not, it's true. They have more elements. They have more elements than we do. <laughs> <laughs> they communicate better. Okay, men love soccer. It's true. It's true. true. It's not for everybody, but yeah, normally, normally it's true. Okay, let's continue. Let's move on. Pre-task, email messages. Okay, email messages. The purpose is to discuss sending messages. Message. I want to write here the pronunciation. It's not exactly like that, but hey, I was going to write an A message with the stress here, message, message. Not exactly like that, but uh, an idea, no? Because it's more like j, message, j, rather than j. But for the sake, message, okay? So email messages. The purpose is to discuss sending messages, okay? The questions are, do you send uh, email messages every day? Should the uh, emails be brief or long? Each are brief, what's the meaning? Brief is short, short, brief or long, short or extensive, okay? Short or long. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Three, only three, okay. What messengers do you know? Notice, message is A, messenger is E. E, 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 all of them are E, no A. 
message and messengers. What messengers do you know? These are messengers. Yes. You can you can send the uh, messages using Facebook, right? The messenger of Facebook. You can use mm -hmm. you can messengers, messengers, no, messenger messages using, I don't know, uh, your email, like uh, Google, go, the Google email, right? So the Gmail. So messengers like Gmail, Yahoo, a Hotmail that now is Outlook, Outlook, right? Those are messengers. Of course, there are other messengers, but those are the most common. So maybe you, you, you think about the ones that you know. Which ones do you use? One thing is to know them, another is to use them. For example, I know them, but I use only Gmail or WhatsApp. My favorite, obviously, is WhatsApp. Hey, WhatsApp, well, much better. Okay, and I use Telegram too. Telegram and WhatsApp. Telegram because of the many things that it has. Okay, so now then you say like this, which one do you recommend? Which one do you recommend? Okay, and why? So these are the questions. My friends, go and discuss with your partners, okay? In the groups, tell your partners which ones you use, et cetera. Groups are opening. Please discuss the questions. Ahorita vemos. Deme dos segundos. Allá voy. No sé si alguien tiene por ahí el diálogo. Voy. A ver, gracias. Brief in why and in my case, it depends because sometimes I have to send long emails because I have to give some instruction for a assignment of other people and I write uh, number one you have to do that number two number three and for the reason the image is long but other times the image is very brief because it's only a, um, a, 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 a short information and whom who's meeting uh, Anna Anna, for you? Se nos perdió Ana. The number three, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Uh, yeah. I think I don't know how to say consist of brief. Ah, okay. Brief. Brief. Or concise. Concise. And clear. 
can I say? Vivir, sí, clear. Live. No, clear. Ah, ah, claro. Clear. Ah, clear. 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 Thy names. Thy names. Should be polite. Yeah. Polite. Polite. Should they be mandonas? I mean, bossy, bossy. Bossy is mandona, bossy. Like, do this, do the other, do this, do the other. Instead of saying, fulanito, could you do this, please? Two different things. If someone says, could you do this, please, is different from do this. People respond better. What else? Um, difficult words or difficult test. Uh, yes. Um, when you um, when you attach the the ship is is be specific to yes is clear you can uh, be clear but the other person uh, understanding, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Next, for what messengers do you know? Um, I know Microsoft Teams, WebEx Teams, um, I'll Messen look. I'll look. Uh -huh. Gmail. Yeah. Um, Hotmail is the same with the uh, Outlook. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Which one do you use? In my case, I'll look every day. Gmail, mm, sometimes Gmail, but uh, when I send a personal, a personal email. I only use email, Gmail. Okay. In my case too, um, personal account is Gmail and the work is Outlook. Uh huh. Same. Me too. Okay. okay. I got an an account Outlook too, but <laughs> I don't use it. Okay. Okay. I use only my work because it, it is necessary, but uh, the Gmail is is more um more easy because I. I have in my phone and, and yeah, I'll look only in my work. Okay. 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 Which one do you recommend? Why? Okay. I'll look <laughs> at work is so strongly, is very stable. Mm, confiable, how do you say confiable teacher? Reliable, 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 insecure. The affected emails. Number four, what messengers do you know? Number five, which one do you see? Number six, 
Which one do you recommend? recommend. Why? Ok. Voy a seguir yo a repetir lo que ya sabemos la respuesta de cada uno. Uh -huh. You send email messages every day. You remain be brief or long. Can you mention three tips to write effects you make? What messaging do you know? Which one do you use? Which one do you recommend? Them? Why? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fifteen people out. Sixteen. Seventeen. Soon they'll be out, so we're going to start. All right, let's go to the attendance. Para los que no oyeron la reinscripción, inicien el proceso de la reinscripción. Okay, let's continue. This message is sponsored by. Okay, oh. let's see. Abigail Mejia. Present. Excellent, nice. Ana Maria Portillo. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Andrea Maria Cruz. Present, teacher. Uh, welcome, Andrea Maria. I see that you are participating more. Excellent. Okay. Dilcia Jamile Fernandez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Emma Gloria Martinez. Okay. Your teacher. Excellent, Emma. Nice. Esmeralda, Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Present. Excellent, nice. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Jose Ezequiel Guzmán. Here teacher. Excellent, nice. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Lady Xiomara Chicas. Maritza Yanir Hernández. Present teacher, lady. Oh, lady. Okay, nice lady. No problem. Okay, Maritza. No, Maritza no vino hoy, ¿verdad? Okay. So, en el chat escribió Maritza. En el chat escribió Maritza. Oh, ¿y qué le pasa ahora, Maritza? El micrófono. Microphone is, Jorge, is, the, her microphone is not working. Uh, not really, but uh, she had uh, a little sick. Uh, yes, he, <laughs> she, she, she has a habit. Mm -hmm. Espero que se recupere pronto. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. No problem. Okay, Paola Stephanie Mejia. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Raquel Abigail Cruz. No, Raquel Abigail García. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Raquel Segura. Hoy no activo el micrófono. Ok. Está trabajando todavía, Raquel. Ok. Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. Present. Excellent. Nice. Sandra Patricia Ramos. Present. Excellent. Very good. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. 
Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Guadalupe del Carmen Silva. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. And Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. <coughs> No, no, no. Well, let's continue then. Let's continue. We move to which tips? Which tips uh, do you use for writing emails? Or which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Okay. Which tips? do you follow when writing emails? Compare your answers with a partner, okay? Simple. Okay, what parameters do you use to write emails? Okay. Examples do not use capitals. Capital letters is people are shouting, right? And though people don't want to read that. Avoid using the subject important. A veces escriben to, 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 to. This is important because that are right. So it's important and then it is important. Uh oh Okay, so use a formal greeting, use a formal greeting, okay? Don't say, hi, okay? Good morning, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good afternoon, colleagues, okay? Good morning, colleagues, okay? So if you don't want to use the word, dear colleagues, dear, that is only, Solo de adorno, queridos compañeros. Que el querido solo es, solo es adorno. Entonces, pueden poner, dear colleagues. Good morning, dear colleagues. Okay. Eh, be brief. Sea breve. Be brief. Express clearly what uh -huh. you are writing. Express clearly why you are writing. Okay. In, in la primera línea. The reason for this email is to do this, to ask you to please do this. Okay. Do not use abbreviations. No todos entienden las abreviaciones. Do not use abbreviations. Abbreviations confuse many people. So no abbreviations. Do not use emojis, okay? <clears throat> Emoji is a Japanese word, emo for emotion and G for letter. So it's a symbol for emotions. So smileys, it says here, do not use smileys, means a face with a smile. But in reality, emojis are all the type of words like thumb up, thumb down, Okay, or the hand saying hello, or etc. So all of those are emojis. Avoid using emojis. Okay, we're going to practice this conversation briefly. Practice this conversation with a partner, take turns, talking about the tips you checked in exercise two. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Do you often send uh, emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate, appropriate to use abbreviations 
in business emails? No, it's not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. One, uh, one Amanda and one Luis, two volunteers. Chair, please repeat abbreviation. Abri abbreviations. Abbreviation. 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 Appropriate. Abbreviations. 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 Okay, so volunteers for Amanda. One lady who wants to be Amanda. Me, teacher. Thank you. And one uh, gentleman to be in this. Me, teacher. Okay, please, Mauricio, go ahead. Okay. Please begin. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it's not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, another volunteer for Amanda. Me, teacher. Yes, Michelle. Thank you. Yes. In one Ezequiel Luis. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No. Is it not professional? I see. Could you share more tips to write FLT emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the tips. Task preparation tips. To read tips to writing emails. Okay, so you're going to be in the groups writing them and I'm going to be helping you. But I'm going to help you with the vocabulary, but I'm going to read them a little fast though. Writing an email doesn't have to be so hard. Here are some tips that will help you to write better messages. Read and remember them. Maintain your credibility. Present yourself as the trusted professional you are. Be polite, say please and thank you as appropriate. Keep a professional tone. Avoid slang. Slang is caliche, palabra de calor, exclamation marks, and smiley faces. Use a suitable greeting and opening, but avoid insincere small talk. Include a suitable sign off that fits the tone of the email. Keep your email signature simple and short. Limit images and avoid cursive fonts. Don't use too many high importance flags. Muchas palabras de importancia, okay? O sea, no asteriscos, no manos señalando, no cosas así. Present your email thoughtfully. Give the right amount of information in the right way so that your reader is able to read your message easily and wants to. Number one, place your key message and call to attention near the top. So it's the first thing your reader sees. Organize the rest of the information from the most to the least important. Limit the number of issues covering the email to increase the chance of a response. Write briefly and stick to the point. Try to keep to 150 words or less. Use short everyday words instead of jargon, means uh, godly, uh, gobbledygook like 
eh, palabras que se usan solo en, en, en específicas áreas de tecnología, que okay, jargon, or difficult words, avoid acronyms, in terms you really won't understand, acronyms, CIA, CIA, right? CIA, okay, the company, <laughs> they say like intelligence uh, company of the United States, the CIA, okay? So that is an acronym. Keep sentences short. Help your readers scan. Don't read content on screen word for word. In fact, most of us scan a web page in an F-shaped pattern, like this, like this, and like this. Use layout and formatting to guide your reader through the email and to your key points. Put your key message and call to attention at the top. For a longer email with a lot of detail, use headings. Okay, this topic now, explain it. Another topic now, explain it. Write an easy to read chunks. Use short paragraphs and list with bullets or numbers. Don't use too much bold. If you emphasize too many words, you end up emphasizing <coughs> nothing, okay? Avoid all caps, capital letters, huge fonts and random colors. These slow the reader down. Four, write your subject line last. Your subject line, el que va el, el objeto o el propósito del mensaje, okay? Your subject line could determine whether your reader opens your email, make it count. Write the subject line after drafting your message. Use action verbs so the reader knows what you want done. Be specific and descriptive so the reader knows right away what the message is about. Appeal to the reader's needs. Ask yourself what will make the reader care about your email. Avoid starting a sentence in the subject line and finishing it in the body. Keep your subject line under 50 characters or six to eight words so the whole line will show in the inbox preview. Keep in mind that some smartphones show only 33 to 44 characters for the subject line. Five, review and revise. Imagine that everyone in the company will read your message. Emails are quick to create, but leave a lasting impression. Review your work now to save time and get results later. Use the spell check feature to reduce errors. Read the message backwards to check for errors that a spell checker won't catch, like homonyms or use, usage errors. Check that your key message is perfectly clear without typos, wordy phrases, or anything that can be misunderstood because it's ambiguous. Check that all names and titles are correct. Make sure that you have attached any important files or included any necessary things. Hay más, pero solo esto es suficiente. So, solo eso les puse. Uh, más que suficiente. Okay, so you're going to read it. Let me see if you have time. Pro probably you're going to scroll it for the exercise. Por lo que, para lo que vamos a hacer, van a necesitar buscarlo. Pero vamos a, voy a darle chance de que lo lean. Here we have an example. Okay, to Peter, uh -huh, send Saturday. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't get, don't forget the things. See you. To Robert, mm -hmm. tomorrow's meeting. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the document. Okay, so this is something that we will do. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Include a polite salutation. Dear Mr. Dear Miss, good morning, etc. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Don't use all capitals or all lowercase letters. 
avoid abbreviations. For example, PLZ for please. Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Edit and proofread before you send the message. And make sure that you send the message to the people that you want to send it to, okay? Not to everybody. All right, that is the idea. So, I'm going to give you five minutes for you to read the, this, these five things. Let me see. No, I'm going to give you 10 minutes. 10 minutes should be enough. Okay, let's go to, to the groups. Okay. The groups are opening. Raquel, you may join your group. And Andrea, Amalia, Raquel, you are in group four. Okay. Vamos a ver. Can be dear. Ahorita, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a leer de pritas, ¿ya? las cinco cosas que yo les dije que les iba a dar diez minutos para que las tuvieran aquí a la hora de escribir. Ok. Ok, ok. Entonces le damos para arriba. ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, desde ahí, desde ahí, la, desde ahí van a leer. Okay, let's begin reading. Per favore. Okay. Si gustan, leemos una cada uno. Empiezo yo. Okay. 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 Use a sweet, sweet table greeting and open, but avoid in sincerous a small talk. Okay, Jonathan? Enjoyed, Jonathan, uh, okay. Sweet, suitable sign of that fits the tone of the email. Suitable greeting, suitable. Suitable, suitable. Suitable, suitable. Suitable, suitable. Suitable, suitable. 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 Como la ley. Durable. Durable. Ok. Esmeralda. Durable. If your email signature is simple and short, limiting matches. Ok. Después sigue. ¿Quién ya? Yes, I will the keep your email. Ahorita Esmeralda, creo. Esmeralda. En el Keep Your Email. Ok. 
Give, uh -huh. give your image signature simple and short. Limit limit image and avoid cursive font. Maybe. Don't don't use too many high important flag. Next number two. Okay. Um, Demo Gabriela. Give the right amount of information in the right way so that your reader is able to read messages easily and wants to. Place your key messages and call to action near the top so it's the first thing your reader sees. Can you see here? Organize the rest of the information from most to less important. Important. Okay, Meralda. Limit the number of easy cover in the email to increase the change of our response. Okay, Kenya. Next. 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 Voy Okay. Okay. Present your email truthfully. Get the right amount of, of information in the right way so that your reader is able to read your message easily and wants to place your kid message and call to action near the top so it's the first thing to reader sees. Organize the rest of the information from most to less important, limit the number of issues converted in the emails to increase the chance of uh, responses. Writing briefly and stick to the point. Try to keep to a uh, 1,015 words of less. Use shirts every day word in instead or jargon and difficult words. Avoid acronyms and terms you really won't understand. Keep sentences short. Excellent. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sandra. Okay. Are you there? Sandra. Okay. Three. Help to read scan. We don't read content on on screen word for word. In fact, most of use scan a web page in a F shepherd party. party. Use layout and format and formatting to guide your readers through the mail into your key point. Or your case makes and call to action at the top for a longer email with a lot of details. Use headings. Write in AC to raise. Me quedé sin la pantalla, Jorge. Voy por. Write in AC to read songs. Use a short paragraph and list with bullet or numbers. Don't use it too much, Paul, if you imp 
bite size too many words. You end up emphasizing. Emphasizing. No. Emphasizing. 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 Nothing. Nothing. Avoid all caps. Go from in random colors. This is slow the rate down. Chili and wants to place your key message and call to action near the top so it the first thing your reader sees. Organize the rest of the information from mouse to less import. Limit the number of user, user, no sé si así se dice, users. Issues, 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 cover, issues. Cover it in the email to intros. The chains of a report. Write, briefly and stick to the point. Try to keep to uh, 150 words. Está bien dicho el 150. 150 words or less. Or less, okay. Use your everyday word instead of jargon. Jargon. Jargon and difficult words. Words. Avoid. About acronyms and and terms you read it or understand. understand. Keep sent sentences short. Teacher, qué bueno que vino. Lo necesitamos ahorita con urgencia. Ok. Sí, es que me me... Me... <risas> sí teacher, es que, es que no comprendimos la parte final. O sea, yo entendí que leyó todo ahí, pero después no, no, no le capté qué hasta, era lo que íbamos a hacer. ¿Hasta dónde ha leído? Hasta donde dice Feel in the Subject. No sé si era esta ahí, la página, no sé si es la 20 o estoy muy adelante. Leyó, leyeron, leyeron number one, number two, number three, and num, number four and number five, right? Solamente íbamos a leer. Solamente iban a leer las cinco, esas cositas. Las cinco. ¿Las leyeron? No, teacher. Los demás ya casi terminaron. De veras. Pero en menos de lo que haya un canto, vamos a leerla. Ok. Bueno, yo voy a iniciar, queridas amigas mías. Ok. La uno. Ok, dice... Be polite. Bueno, maintain your credibility. Present yourself a trusted professional you are. Okay. Insincere. 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 Sure. Mm -hmm. Evita las palabras insincera. Eh, uh, conversaciones insinceras. Okay. Like if you see the person and you never never talk to the person, don't don't write in the email. Ay, my amiguita, whatever, right? Because it's false. Okay. Okay. Another word or sentence. Pasamos a la siguiente. Next. Pasamos a la siguiente. Next. Okay. Ya las leímos todas, teacher. Solo estamos revisando algunas palabras que, que no entendemos o no comprendemos por completo. Excellent. 
Yeah, okay. the idea was to read it. You have better chances of writing. Okay, let's go to the main groups. Okay. We're going to do the difficult part. The difficult part is the writing. The writing. Okay. We're going to be writing an email, like the models. In your opinion, this is formal or informal? Informal. It's informal. It's, it uses abbreviation. It doesn't say hello, good morning, doesn't doesn't greet. That's the subject. Uh -huh. And the closing is not formal. Okay. So this is informal. Informal. What about this one? Think it's formal or informal? Informal. Informal. Robert, remember that tomorrow informal. we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. It's also informal. Why? Well, there's a loop. Uh, you don't have, we have only the, the address, right? Robert, yeah. but we don't have a greeting. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Robert. Right? Good morning, Robert. If you treat him, treat the person by the first name, good morning, Robert. Uh, the reason I'm writing is to remind you that tomorrow we have a meeting with IT. Could you please bring the documents with you? Okay, and then you say best regards, Chabelita. No, Chabelita. best regards. Best regards, Chabelita, no. <laughs> Best regards, Isabel Ortega, manager, okay? Isabel Ortega, manager, and usually they have like Isabel Ortega, uh, sales manager, uh, PO, PO box, this, uh, telephone number, email, Magnifica, etc. So everything is written at the base of the, at, at the name, right? So that is also, that's to make it formal. Okay, my friends, I won't take more of your time. You're going to write emails, but we have to say what topic, what are the topics? Okay, let's think about topics. What topics can you write the emails about? Ideas, suggestions, sugerencias? A meeting. Okay. We can say, yes, like you say, the most common is meeting. Schedule a meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say only a meeting. We're going to say, just put here. A okay, what else? Number two, an invitation. What else? A reminder. Teacher, what's a reminder? Un recordatorio. Reminder is recordatorio. Algo, algo que alguien ya sabe y se le recuerda. Reminder. For? Bienvenida. Welcome. Yeah, correct. To what? review? Uh -huh. To review. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
to review, to review what? Para revisar qué? Budget. Okay. So schedule a meeting, a meeting to review, but to review budget. Yeah. Yeah. So. So a meeting to check budget. Okay, good. Now you have four, five different topics. Select one, select one and write an email. It's following the models. What models? These models, but with a difference. Greet, say hello. Okay, put a greeting. No greeting. Okay. The purpose, right? Say the body. The purpose of the message or the message. Say the body. Body. And then they say a closing. Closing. And over here, put the purpose or what we call the object. Okay, complete with the object, the greeting, the body, and the closing. Example, to uh, clavoitachuela at gmail.com. Okay, say subject, banquet. Dear sirs, the reason for this email is to remind you that next Friday we are having our annual banquet with all the members of the company. So please remember to save a table at the end for all of our workers. Kind regards, Stephanie Clark, sales manager, Telephone number this, address this, etc. Only. Okay, easy, right? Okay, so um, what we're going to do is all the group will present one. Todo el grupo presenta one. We have five groups and then we present them, the email. So work collaboratively work collaboratively, choose a topic and write the email, okay? Let's begin. So, we say teacher in the groups, right? Yes, in the groups. So let's go to the groups. Okay. Two. Tu Abby. <laughs> Como? Tu Abby. Abby. Mm -hmm. Abby. Así. Okay. Y si le ponen como tú es el correo para donde va, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿A quién? Podemos poner a González arroba gmail.com. Ok. Thank you. 
and such it podría ser meeting on sun on Monday. Y decimos la hora, pero no sé qué hora es. Sí. On Sunday, on Friday. On Friday, on Monday. Of Monday. Of Monday. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Estás escribiendo? Sí, yo lo estoy escribiendo. Va, vamos a empezar con... Vaya, Buda. tenemos que empezar. ¿A quién se lo va a dirigir? Ve? Para Gabriela. ¿Alguna otra idea? Mm, I don't know. The reason for the emails. Is. Is. To. Apply the suggestion for exercise five. Yes, there. Uh, this applied. Aplicar. Uh -huh. Aplicar the the new the new uh, regulations. The, the, regulations. And thanks. The new regulation. Um, the new regulation. ¿Cómo se podría decir, teacher? Las nuevas regulaciones laborales, como de derecho laboral. The new regulations related to. El relate se escribe así. Related to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Related to. Eh, workers' rights. Workers', workers rights. Right. Ah, right, como de, de derecha, ¿verdad? Sí. No sé cómo, no recuerdo cómo, no, la verdad no sé cómo se escribe right. G-H-T. H-H. -T. H -T. H -T. Ajá. Ok. The reason for the main supply the new revolution related to workers' rights. Because. Because. Eh, eh, Yes, y, y, es su obligación is a obligation for my my um, company ¿te parece? Uh, pero es que la palabra obligación es fuerte en un, en un correo because it's the responsibility ah muy bien Much better. because it is because it is it, it is, is the responsibility of the company of, of the, the company, company. to my microphone de repente me está sacando de la plataforma ah okay el inter no sé qué pasa Podemos ponerle después. A ver. The reason for this is to confirm the meeting tomorrow at uh -huh. 8 a.m. Uh -huh. En la sala de juntas o algo así. Uh -huh. Podemos ponerle. A ver qué más podemos poner. Va, ahí, ahí ya pusimos el, el, la hora.
pongámosle como así como que ante cualquier consulta estoy a la orden o quedo a sus órdenes no sé eh, sala de juntas eh. oh that's a meeting hall meeting hall or meeting room meeting hall meeting yeah. hall or meeting room meeting room in the okay yep gracias no problem O le podemos poner quedo al we pendiente can, de... We can mention the um, objective of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Y le puso... Monday. Monday. On Monday. Monday. Uh huh. Twenty six. Twenty six. September. 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 Creo que primero va el mes. September twenty. Twenty six. Six. September 26. The haters. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí, sería. Ahí quedaría. Pues yo creo que sí. Es corto. No recuerdo si así se escribe. No. Solo con... Ajá. Regards. Ajá. Sí. Ok. Names, regards, comma, and down, you write the name of the person. Pongámosle que la manda financial assistance, que sea la asistente de finanzas la que lo manda. Pero creo que tendría que llevar un nombre y abajo como el de, no. la descripción del cargo. Sería entonces. Ana Metes, póngale así como un nombre ficticio. Ana Romero, Sales Manager. Telephone number seven one seven eight. Eh, phone. Phone. Un corriente. Falta un siete. Es que es de República Dominicana. Ah, bueno. <risa> ok. Eh. That's all. Maybe yes. Yes.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you did a good job. I saw you writing the email. Okay, excellent. We might not have time to present it, but I know that you did it and that you did a good job. So, excellent. Let's go to the attendance. Today, ladies, Yomara Chica stays with me, okay? So, number one, Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Ana Maria Portillo. Present, teacher. Excellent. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Andrea Maria Cruz. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Dilcia Yamile Fernandez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Emma Gloria Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Present. Excellent. Very good. Jorge Antonio Santos. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Excellent. <coughs> Kenny Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Excellent, very nice. Lady Xiomara Chicas. Present teacher. Great, nice. Maritza Yanir Hernández. Que se recupere Maritza. Paola Stephanie Mejia. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Raquel Abigail Garcia. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Rebecca Guadalupe Aguillón. Present. Excellent. Sandra Patricia Ramos. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. Present teacher. Present teacher, Sandra, Patricia. Okay, nice. Guadalupe del Carmen Silva, that's an exit. Okay, so Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Nice, and Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. Present. Okay, excellent. So, only one person was absent and it was Guadalupe del Carmen Silva. We don't know that lady, okay. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for staying to the end. Have a nice weekend. I'll see you on Monday if God allows it. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Have a good weekend. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Okay. Okay. Buenas noches, Lady. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarle? ¿Qué dudas Buenas. tiene? Bueno, con respecto a la clase, creo que no, ninguna duda. <risa> Solamente una recomendación. Bueno, de, parte, de su parte me gustaría. En mi caso, se me dificulta bastante la parte del vocabulario. No sé, alguna recomendación que usted me pueda dar para poder mejorarla. Porque sí se me dificulta bastante. Más que todo en las, oraciones, en las palabras compuestas, como usted nos platicaba ahora. Va. No, las palabras comp compuestas le puedo decir así fíjese que no hay una regla general una que incluya involucre a todas las palabras sino que las reglas son muy específicas por palabra por palabra por palabra entonces hay un grupo de palabras que sí van unidas y hay otras que van separadas pero normalmente las que van separadas son las que significan tipo de por ejemplo, usted dice, eh, he's a teacher. What kind? English teacher. English teacher. 
separado. ¿no? Eh, tal vez podría ser university, professor, university, student. Van separados porque dicen qué tipo de, qué tipo de profesor es de la universidad, qué tipo de alumno es de la universidad. University, student, van separados. También cuando dicen el material de lo que algo está hecho. Glass door. Glass door. Puerta de, de vidrio, ¿verdad? Glass door. O si no, metal bar. Una barra de hierro. ¿verdad? Se dice metal bar. Entonces, cuando dice qué material es y después va la, el, la, el objeto del cual estamos diciendo qué material es. Entonces van separados. También cuando estamos diciendo la función de algo, por decir así, eh, hay una dispensadora, pero dispensadora de qué? Dulces. Ah, a candy machine. Dispensadora, no hay una, no usamos otra palabra que machine. Candy machine. Candy machine. O meten la moneda y te dan los dulces. O cigarette machine. Para los que fuman, hay un cigarette machine. Meten el token, porque ahí sí ya no es, ya no es moneda, porque es más caro el, cigar, el cigarrillo, porque tiene impuestos federales y no sé qué más cosas, porque es un vicio. Entonces tienen que pagar más. Entonces es un token, una ruedita con un hoyito en medio. Y van y compran, compran esos, los meten y salen. Y ya sacan la cajetilla. Y así hay algunos otros para juegos, para cualquier cosa. Son machine, candy machine. Eh, drinks, fizzy drink machine o cosas así o si no también aún para cenas frozen dinner machines frozen dinner machines hay unas máquinas donde se puede comprar una cena congelada y después solo la mete en el microondas y ya se la come entonces ese es, esos, esos tipos así van de esa forma ahora cuando tenga dudas porque hay una que sí van unidas, como airport, supermarket, airport, supermarket y otras que van uniditas. Lo que puede hacer es revisarlas en el diccionario. Eh, en cuanto a vocabulario, es plan de pronunciación o cuestiones así, puede, puede usar Google. Se lo voy a, sí. <risa> lo voy a compartir. Vale, digamos que viene a Google y pone Translate. Translate le va a aparecer de inglés al español. Entonces, donde dice ingresar texto, pone la palabra. Digamos que la palabra que usted quiere traducir es, ¿qué palabra? Eh, ahorita, por ejemplo, ahorita la primera que los compañeros me corrigieron, la de Remember. A ver, recordar. Va, se pone la palabra remember. Y como allí le aparece conjugada, recuerda. Remember. The, remember, the force is with you, look. ¿Se acuerda? Entonces, aquí pone la pronunciación. Remember. Remember. Y allí se la puede dar hasta más lenta. Y aún tiene un micrófono allí a la par para usted repetir y grabarse para ver si lo dice igual, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. de esta forma, este le da la pronunciación. Digamos que usted quiere otra palabra, por ejemplo, budget. Entonces, le da el significado, presupuesto. Budget. Budget. Y en la parte de abajo le aparecen sinónimos. Budget, estimate, mm -hmm. presupposition, estimation, specification. Y si le da mostrar más, le aparecen más cosas. Entonces, eso es con respecto a vocabulario. Pero si usted quiere otro de vocabulario, hay un sitio. Quiero ver si me acuerdo. No lo he usado en eso. My list. Mm. 
algo así se llama. Y entonces aquí le aparece My Animal List. Eh, my Animal. Manga en, manga en Database. No, esa no es la que quería. Pero puede poner Vocabulary List. Vocabulary List. Y hasta le aparece uno en PDF. Le da clic. Y le aparecen listas de vocabulario. Por letra. Con ordenados por letras. De las palabras más usadas. Oh, y si usted quiere, la puede bajar. O sea, aquí arriba hay un botoncito. Y esta la puede ver. Sí, la puede ver. Sí. Usted le da aquí el botoncito. Y le da guardar. Mm. Y ya se la guarda. Pero si usted quiere específico, vocabulario específico, usted dice, quiero vocabulario de qué, por ejemplo. Mm, podría ser de la... De algo del hogar, de todas las presentes cosas del hogar, por ejemplo, ah, que van los muebles, y todas las cosas. Así. Usted pone Appliances List. Entonces, le aparecen aquí todas. Dishwasher, clothes dryer, blender, etc. Pero mm -hmm. aquí le aparece en Wikipedia. Pero mm -hmm. también puede ver fotografías. Imagen. Ok. Puede ver. Mm -hmm. ¿sí? Puede abrirle en, en, una, en una parte. Sí. y después la puede guardar en Pinterest o la puede usar como usted quiera o si no si no le permiten copiarla usa Windows mayúscula o sea Windows Shift S Windows Shift S para que le aparezca el recorte el recorte tú ¿eh? y Corta lo que usted quiera. Le sí, ya le aparece el recorte. Ya lo puede pegar en, en Word, PowerPoint, Word. Y ya, pues, ya lo puede estudiar. Y aquí mm. ya tiene la fotito para no traducir. No, no traducir, va, digamos. Esto, solo la, esto es solo así. Uh -huh. Entonces usted ya tiene aquí todo el vocabulario. Le ve más grande. Control. Control. Uh -huh. Ya le aparece el vocabulario como blender, juicer, coffee grinder, coffee maker, bread maker, toaster, electric bread slicer, microwave oven, sandwich maker, hand mixer, standing mixing. Or mix, scale, deep fryer, gas electric burners, los quemadores, range wood, pasta maker, rice cooker, cooker sería el, eh, esta cosita que tiene para ponerle la temperatura que usted tiene, speaker, washing machine, refrigerator and freezer, dishwasher, gas range and oven, Electric range and oven. Que son las que más se usan aquí, ¿verdad? Gas sí, range. Entonces right. aquí ya tiene. Sí, tiene razón. Comprendo. Muchas gracias por. Bueno, esas páginas realmente no las conocí en las que me muestro. Pero sí. voy a... Bueno, voy a estar con las listas para poder ampliar el vocabulario. Poquito a poquito, toma tiempo y a ver. Sí. Pero sí. todo idioma, como tiene palabras nuevas, aproveche las palabras que usted ya conoce. Palabras que son iguales, eh, son iguales en inglés y son iguales en español. Por ejemplo, coffee, café, bien detecta que es café. Porque sandwich se usa en español. Y hay otras palabras así que, por ejemplo, nosotros decimos waffle. En inglés, ¿no? Waffle. Uh -huh. Waffle. 
hasta, hasta también, y así, ¿verdad? Otras palabras que... Ok. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you.